Hi all. I just thought I would share with you that I am um, making a shawl. I have an opportunity down here in Georgia to um, put some of the things I've made in a building. It's called Home Sweet Home and it's there for vendors who do crafts to sell. So. I may have mentioned this before, but I've been making things to sell and to put into Home Sweet Home. And um, I've made a couple shawls, and I'll show you the other ones that I've made. Um, but this one is a knit one. And I really like it. I'm actually knitting it on circular needles because I didn't feel like looking for straight needles. Um, and it's... Well, let me show you what yarn I'm using. It's Lion Brand. It's called Mandela Ombre. And it seemed pretty soft. The color is Harmony. And I liked the different shades of blue. And the way it's looking... I can tell that way when it's more in the light. It actually does come out kind of a stripe with the different shades of blue. It's a very easy pattern, although it doesn't go quickly. Um, but it's very light and airy, which I figure is good for the south. Um, so it's called Lattice. And the pattern comes from one of my prayer shawl books. This is called the Prayer, Sh prayer Shawl Companion. This is one of the first books that came out. Maybe the second book because it's a companion book. Um, the book is by Janet Bristow and Victoria Cole Gallo, Gallo. And they are the ones that initiated the whole prayer shawl ministry. So... This is the pattern that I'm using. Um, depending on the yarn, it calls for 600 yards of a worsted weight. And it calls for size 15 needles. My yarn is not necessarily worsted weight. It's more of a sport weight. So I'm using, I believe they're size 11. Yeah, I'm doing it on size 11. And I like it. Um, so it's really, I said, really easy to make. It is 10 rows of knitting to get your border. It has a side border of five knit stitches on either end. And the pattern is basically a yarn over and purl two together. And you're just doing that across, and that makes your lattice stitch. So, you're knitting five. I cast on 60 stitches. And then I am knitting five. You slip the first one as if to purl with the yarn in front, and then put the yarn behind and knit four at the beginning of each row. And then you're doing a yarn over and you're purling two together all the way across. Now maybe because I'm doing this on circular needles as I push the stitches to uh, the end of the needle where I need to be working, sometimes they get crossed because they're pretty loose. But when you're purling the two, you're actually purling together this purl stitch here and the yarn over together. Then doing another yarn over and purling the next two together. Yarn over and purling the next two together. So with 60 stitches, with five knit stitches on each side, I believe that comes out, I haven't counted them, but it seems like it would come out to 25 of these yarn over and purl two together. So the one advantage to using the circular needles is I can actually tell how wide it is which when I'm doing it on straight needles, I can never really tell. 
As you see by the picture of this, it's really long. Um, it's saying to continue this pattern for 55 inches. That's a long shawl. So I don't actually sit and knit all that often. Um, so it may take me a while to get this done. It does have fringe on the end. I may or may not fringe it. Um, sometimes I think fringe gets in the way. We'll see when it's done. I'll decide later when it gets long. So, um, I do have some other ones. I will do a separate video. I've got two crochet shawls and another knit shawl that I made quite a few years ago, which also came from this book. But I'll show you that one when I show you the shawls. So... Lattice shawl with Mandela ombre yarn. It is soft. I like soft yarn. Um, and a pretty easy pattern. It's just going to take a while to get any kind of length. But it will come. So, pretty easy, just not quick. So, I'll just plug away at it. And we'll get there eventually.